The Vatican Secret Archive, also, also known. known as the Vatican Apostolic Archive, is said to contain state papers, correspondence, account books, and many other documents that the Church has accumulated over the centuries. In the 17th century, under the orders of Pope Paul V, the Secret Archive was separated from the Vatican Library and remained closed to outsiders until the late 19th century when Pope Leo VIII opened the archive to researchers. With limited exceptions, the only individuals granted access to the archive are qualified scholars from institutions of higher education, select scholars that need a letter from either a recognized institute of research or a suitably qualified person in their field of historical research. Applicants need to provide their personal information as well as their purpose of research. Only 60 academicians per day are allowed inside. The Vatican Secret Archive has been estimated to contain 53 miles or 85 kilometers of shelving and contains some amazing pieces of history. Some notable documents include Henry VIII of England's request for a marriage annulment, a handwritten transcript of the trial of Galileo for heresy, and letters from Michelangelo complaining he had not been paid for work on the Sistine Chapel. With as long a history as the Catholic Church, there is also said to be some dark secrets hiding within the walls of the archive. These items are said to be proof that Jesus did not exist, evidence of extraterrestrials, a time machine, and many others. The Great Sphinx of Giza is a limestone statue of a reclining sphinx, a mythical creature with the head of a human and the body of a lion. Facing directly from west to east, it stands on the Giza Plateau on the west bank of the Nile in Giza, Egypt. The face of the sphinx appears to represent the pharaoh Khafre. The sphinx is the oldest known monumental sculpture in Egypt and one of the most recognizable statues in the entire world. The archaeological evidence suggests that it was created by ancient Egyptians of the Old Kingdom during the reign of Khafre around 2558 to 2532 BC. There are various legends of secret passages associated with the Great Sphinx. Investigations by Florida State University, Waseda University in Japan, and Boston University have located various anomalies in the area around the monument, although these could be natural features. Between 1991 and 1993, while examining evidence for erosion at the monument using a seismograph, Archaeologist Anthony West and his team found evidence of anomalies in the form of hollow, regularly shaped spaces or chambers a few meters below the ground between the paws at either side of the Sphinx. In 1995, workers renovating a nearby parking lot uncovered a series of tunnels and pathways, two of which plunge further underground close to the Sphinx. It is rumored that these hollow passages lead to a hall of records. Proponents believe that an ancient Atlantean civilization stored their documents under the Sphinx. No further examination has been allowed. In March 1974, a work brigade of farmers drilling a well discovered a subterranean chamber that archaeologists later found contained an army of some 8,000 life-sized terracotta soldiers and horses, along with richly adorned chariots of wood and bronze, iron farm implements, bronze and leather bracelets, bronze and leather bridles, objects of silk, linen, jade, and bone, and such items as bows and arrows, spears and swords, cast from an unusual 13-element alloy, which are still shiny and sharp today. The clay figures, once brightly painted with mineral colors, were grouped into a specific military configuration of vanguard bowmen and crossbowmen, outer files of archers, groups of infantrymen and charioteers, and an armored rear guard that followed the military prescriptions of the time. Three nearby chambers, one holding more than 1,300 ceramic figures representing a smaller, complementary force of foot soldiers, chariots, and cavalry, one with 68 members of what probably represents an elite command unit, and one that is empty, were all discovered in the 1970s. Buried above and around many of the broken figures are the remnants of timber roofing, which may have collapsed because of a previous fire. The buried army faces east, poised for battle, about three quarters of a mile from the outer wall of the tomb. In pits nearby, they have found the remains of seven humans, possibly the emperor's children, a subterranean stable filled with horse skeletons, an assemblage of half-sized bronze chariots, 70 individual burial sites, a zoo for exotic animals, and other artifacts. The tomb itself remains unexcavated. It lies within an inner wall and beneath a four-sided pyramid mound that was originally landscaped to appear as a low wooded mountain. The interior is reputedly a vast underground palace that took about 700,000 conscripted workmen more than 36 years to complete. 
The compound was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. Archaeological excavations on the site continue to this day and will well into the 21st century. The shrine is one of the most revered abodes of Hindu deity Mahavishnu. The Hindu temple has valuables that are believed to have been accumulated in the temple over thousands of years, having been donated to the deity and subsequently stored in the temple by various dynasties. In 2011, a retired officer filed a petition in the Supreme Court for taking stock of the temple's unknown treasury. The Supreme Court appointed a seven-member association to look into the unaccounted wealth of the temple and make an official record of it. When the committee began its work, six huge vaults were discovered in the temple, which were named A, B, C, D, E, and F. The doors were iron made and, and the, the scope to open them was dim. It took hard work to open the secret vaults and what they revealed was beyond human imagination. Bags full of ancient gold coins, diamonds, gemstones, very heavy and huge gold and diamond necklaces. However, when it came to open vault B, it remained locked despite all efforts made by the committee to open it. Of all the six vaults, Chamber B is believed to be deeply rooted to God Padman Bahaswami. The ruling party, the temple priests, and Vedic scholars believe that any effort to unlock the vaults will bring misfortune. The said belief strengthened with the untimely depth of Sudarajan, the petitioner, a month after the doors were opened. Ages ago, the sages of high stature had locked the doors with portals with Nagapasam mantras during the reign of King Marthanda Varma. Only a sage or saint of high caliber is capable of removing the Nagapasam by chanting Garuda Mantra in a proper way. There are two anti-chambers apart from the main door guarding the entry to Chamber B. The main door is the third and final door which is guarded by humongous serpents, the deities, enchanting and fiery female vampire named Kanjurutu Yakshi and other supernatural entities. Around 100 years ago, when the area was grappling with serious famine, the temple authorities tried to open the chamber to use the treasure kept locked behind the doors. But when they heard the sound of gushing ocean waves from behind the door, they stepped back and gave up on the idea. Since then, it is believed that the chamber is somehow connected to the Arabian Sea, and any attempt made by the modern technology to open the door will unleash catastrophes across the state. The Taj Mahal is one of the most popular tourist attractions in India. In 1631, Shah Jahan, which was to be a monument to his late wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who, was, who had died giving birth to their 14th child. The temple, which took 22 years and 32 million rupees to complete, was truly a work of love. Although this breathtaking building attracts up to 8 million visitors per year, there are places in the temple that tourists never see. Below the areas where tourists often visit, there is an entire story with entrances sealed behind marble arches. It is believed that there are 1,089 rooms in this hidden level. There is another floor hiding approximately 22 rooms hidden behind Hindu paintwork. Even, Even on, on the, the open first floor, there are numerous mysterious locked doors that no one is able to unseal. What is hidden in these sealed areas? Well, there are several theories. The prevailing belief is that these areas were built hastily and do not boast the same grandeur as the rest of the monument, so Shah Jahan wanted to keep anyone from seeing them. However, not everyone believes this is the true secret of the mysterious locked doors. According to one theory, the sealed areas of the Taj Mahal are actually hiding the woman the monument mortalizes, Mutaz Mahal. This theory purports that Shah Jahan secretly had his favorite wife mummified so that he could keep her close to him, even in death. This would have been a serious violation of the Islamic commandments, and he would have been declared a heretic had the transgression been discovered. Some also believe that Mumtaz Mahal's remains in the hidden rooms is more than just a body, that her spirit also haunts the rooms as well. Although the Shah built this epic monument in her honor, not everyone believes that this adored spouse was as happy in life as history would have us believe. Her husband, after all, had a harem numbering in the thousands, and he and his armies were known for their sexual violence.